Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we found the cross product of these two vectors, a and b, is the way, the way they are defined here. And we found that the solution, let's call it another vector c, was defined by this 28i plus 7j plus 14k. Now we're going to find the magnitude of that cross product. And we can do that in two ways. So let's do it in two ways. And we compare the two results, and hopefully they'll come out to be the same. The first way would be to say that the magnitude of the cross product, let's call the magnitude of C, which can be written as A cross B, magnitude thereof is equal to, and we said that this was equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the sine of the angle between the two. So what that means is we're going to have to find the magnitude of the two vectors and we're going to have to find the angle between the two vectors. So let's take it one step at a time. First of all, the magnitude of A is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, which is 3 squared plus A negative 2 squared plus A negative 5 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 9 plus 4 plus 25 which is equal to 29 plus 8, that's the square root of 38. And the magnitude of B is equal to the square root of uh, 1 squared plus 4 squared plus a negative 4 squared, which is equal to the square root of 1 plus 16 plus 16, which is 32 plus 1, which is the square root of 33. So now we have the magnitude of both A and B. Now the next thing we need to do is find the angle. And the angle between the two can be found by using the definitions of the dot product. So therefore the angle is equal to the inverse cosine of, well that would be a the, a, the x components times plus the y components plus the z components multiplied together. So that would be 3 times 1 plus negative 2 times 4 plus a negative 5 times a negative 4. Remember, that's how we find the dot product between two vectors. So it's the dot product between the two vectors divided by the product of the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. So we divide that by the square root of 38 times the square root of 33, like this. So this is going to be equal to, that would be the inverse cosine of 3 times 1, which is 3 minus 2 times 4, which is a minus 8, minus 5 times minus 4, that's a plus 20, all divided by the square root of 33 times the square root of 38. And let's go ahead and find out what that is equal to. So we have um, 23 minus 8, that's 15. So we have 15 divided by the square root of 33 and divided by the square root of 38. And that gives us the inverse cosine of, and I'll give you intermediate value in case you want to do this yourself. So theta is equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.42359. And take the inverse cosine of that, and that gives us 64.94 degrees. 64.94 degrees. So finally, we're able now to calculate this. So we can say that the magnitude of the cross product C, that gives us A times B, so the square root of A, which is 38, times the square root of B, which is 33, times the sine of the angle 64.94 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that. Take the sine of that and multiply that times the square root of 38 times the square root of 33 is equal to 32.08. So that would be the magnitude of the cross product. Now, to check that, we're going to take the magnitude of the result. So we can do that as follows. A cross B, oop, not plus B, but cross B. Take the magnitude of that is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, which would be 28 squared plus 7 squared plus 14 squared, which is equal to, let's see here, we have 28 squared plus 7 squared plus 14 squared equals, that would be the square root 
of 1029. And if we take the square root of that, that gives us 32.08. And notice that gives us the exact same result as what we got over there. Therefore, we're pretty sure that we didn't make a mistake. And so that's how we find the magnitude of the cross product. Now, obviously, this is a lot easier once you have the cross product in terms of a vector quantity like this. It's very easy to find the, the product, or I should say the magnitude, but just so you can see that it can also be done using A times B times the sine of the angle, because if the angle is known and you know the magnitudes, that's also a very easy way to find the, the magnitude of the cross product. See, that's how it's done.